School Bus is a private airstrip at the Rockin' 7 Ranch. Prior permission is absolutely required to use the airstrip. School Bus is a primitive airstrip which we would categorize as unmaintained. As with any backcountry airstrip, conditions could change rapidly. The elevation is at 4,940 feet, making density altitude a major consideration. The runway is 1,725 feet long, and it averages 18 feet wide. However, it is bisected by a 10 degree dogleg roughly halfway down the strip. This basically makes it two different runways. The northernmost part of the dogleg yields roughly a magnetic heading of 1735. It is 800 feet long and slopes up 20 feet south to north. In other words, landing 35 from the dogleg would be uphill, while landing south on 17 would be downhill. The southern section of the strip is roughly a magnetic heading of 1836. It is 925 feet long and slopes fairly aggressively with a 40 foot difference in height. Meaning landing north on 36 would be uphill while landing 18 would be downhill. The flattest, most likely place to touch down would be the southernmost section. The runway is clump grass with some humps on the northernmost part of the strip. The surface is fair to bumpy because of the clump grass. There are a few erosion points and divots, but nothing too severe. Due to the slope of the runway, we would expect some erosion from time to time. Prevailing winds are from the northwest, and the airstrip does not have a wind suck. So a careful evaluation of the wind conditions is very important. Most landings would be done uphill when permitted. However, the airstrip can be landed in either direction. The biggest gotcha is the dogleg midway down the strip. It is at the crest of a hill and visibility is very limited. The best way to treat this airstrip is basically as two runways. The approaches are clear in both directions. However, there is a cell tower 1,500 feet west of centerline for approaches on the north end of the strip. Depending on the performance of the airplane, a go-around initiated late in the flare or a bulk landing may not be successful when landing uphill. Rising terrain would be a major issue for any airplane short on performance. Because of the slope, Takeoffs are recommended to be performed downhill from the top of runway 17 or from the midfield dogleg. Because of the slope, the dogleg is hard to see and alignment is key for takeoff. It is probably best to be treated as two different runways, both less than a thousand feet long. Like all recreational airstrips, utmost respect is required of the land. Pack out what you pack in and leave it in better condition than you found it. There should be absolutely no fires outside of the designated ring.